a delicacy which you can never miss if you ever want a taste of hyderabadi food yes today let's make mutton haleem this wholesome one pot meal is amazingly delicious and nutritious so let's start making it first step is to soak lentils and broken wheat in a bowl add 100 grams broken wheat you can also use whole wheat grain 2 tablespoon masoor ki dal 2 tablespoon barley 2 tablespoon urad dal 2 tablespoon chana dal 2 tablespoon basmati rice 2 tablespoon moong ki dal now wash by changing water thrice soak for 3 hours or overnight you also have the option of soaking with hot water for 3 hours Second step is to marinate the mutton pieces. Add 450 grams boneless mutton with 50 grams bones in it. Add one and half tablespoon ginger and garlic paste, one cup curd, one teaspoon garam masala, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon red chili powder, half teaspoon turmeric powder, one teaspoon coriander powder, half teaspoon black pepper powder, one cup fried onions. Give this a very nice mix and marinate this for an hour. Third step is to add soaked wheat and lentils in a heavy bottom pan or pressure cooker. Now add two to three cups of water. Goes in half teaspoon turmeric powder, half teaspoon salt. Now close the lid and cook this for. 45 minutes till it becomes soft. If you are using pressure cooker, then pressure cook for five to six whistles. Fourth step is to cook the mutton pieces in a pressure cooker. Add 200 grams ghee, half teaspoon shahi zeera, one bay leaf, one inch cinnamon, one star anise, one mace, three cardamoms, three cloves, one black cardamom, and to this I am adding marinated mutton. and now i'm going to roast this for a minute now add 1 tablespoon haleem spice mix i skipped the video while i was adding coriander leaves mint leaves and three green chilies at this stage add all three greens Now add leftover water of marinated mutton and also add one cup of water. Now close the lid and pressure cook for six whistles. Fifth step is to add the grain and lentil mix in a blender and pulse it twice. Once done, remove it in a bowl. Sixth step is to open the lid of pressure cooker. Once pressure goes off, remove all the mutton pieces in a bowl and also remove excess ghee in a bowl and set that aside. Now shred the mutton pieces and discard bones. And now I'm going to add the shredded mutton pieces in a lentil mix. Now mash it by using wooden tool. Seventh step is to transfer all the haleem in a pan and also add all the gravy in it. Give this a very nice mix. Add salt if required. And to this, I'm adding finely chopped coriander leaves and mint leaves. Give this a very nice mix, and now cook this for ten minutes in a slow flame. Once done dish out haleem pour excess ghee on top garnish with ginger 
and some green chilies. Add some freshly chopped coriander leaves and some fried onions. Now top up with lemon wedges and serve hot. Rich, thick, mushy, well blended haleem is one of its kind for sure. A famous iftar delicacy haleem or daleem is ready to serve. So guys give this a try and let me know how it turned out for you. And follow us for more short recipes and updates on Instagram Kitchen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and when you do click that little bell icon. See you with more amazing recipes. Take care and have a nice day.